I always use the same recipe for my gingerbread house. It's the one from the Tesco website and I'll put a link in the description. It also has a printable template, so it has enough to make one large house or I print the template at 75% and then that makes two smaller houses so the children can decorate one each. There's also a video that you can watch which shows you the entire process and I found it really helpful the first time I made a house, especially with the assembling of it. Put that down there. That's it. Bash them with that hammer to break them up a little bit. So first you have to melt all the wet ingredients, so that's butter, sugar and syrup. I must admit I changed the recipe a little bit at this point. I, I don't use the black treacle, I just use syrup and add a bit more. And also I reduce the quantities by about 20% because in the past I found that it, the dough has come out too wet. I've done the window bits first because they're the most difficult. So here they are ready to go in the oven. Those boiled sweets should melt while they're in the oven and make some nice windows for the gingerbread house. The first pieces out of the oven are looking good. Looks like the windows have worked nicely. Right, here are all the finished gingerbread pieces the next day. I have got two plates and I'm about to make the icing so I can put them together. And here they are! That was actually quite easy. Now we'll leave them to set overnight and tomorrow the children can decorate them. Very nice. When can we eat them? Well, let's at least finish decorating them first, shall we? And then we can eat them. <laughs> maybe, maybe tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. Or today. Or today. Okay, now I'm really finished. Maybe when we're finished. Yeah. So here are this year's gingerbread houses. What do you think? Good. Good. Are you pleased with them? Yeah. yeah. Mathamia. Mathamia and Harry. Well done. Good job, you two.